Hey guys, quick video for you guys today just to uh, show you how to add menu navigation for your Emuwheel profile on Forza Horizon 4. So first thing you want to do, uh, make this easier on yourself, is go to your options and make a small change in your custom profile because it make it much much easier to find uh, the XML file with all the custom mappings. So once you've done that, save your profile and close the game. And then what you want to do is come to the Forza Wheel Support Discord. In the random channel I've posted the navigation text. So you just want to open that up, control A and copy all of that. And then you want to go to your file browser and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. And then you just want to click update at the top, click the local file packages and then you want Microsoft Sunrise base game and then system app data WGS big coded file now you want to sort by date modified and then you want to try the the file right near the top as you've just edited your file now my one is the second one down uh, you're looking for a file that's approximately 150 kilobyte in size um, and basically I'll just quickly show you if you're in the wrong file and you try and open with notepad the text is all encrypted so if you see an encrypted text file go back and try the next folder until you find the right one and when you open this with notepad you can see it's not encrypted so what you want to do is scroll down until you find your custom wheel profile so here's all the custom wheel profiles and then what you want to do is obviously find the number that you are using so my one I've renamed to Emu Wheel Profile 1 uh, yours will probably be just a custom wheel profile or something like that and then what you want to do is find the end of context 0 which is the basically the only controls that the game allows you to map uh, so at the end context here uh, so I'll just quickly delete all this extra stuff that you won't have so you know what it looks like where's the bottom of it? ah there we are so if we backspace all that so this is basically what yours will look like so after context 0 you will have end context and then that will be the end of the controller mapping so what we're going to do is just click after the end context press enter and then press control V and then that will just paste everything in in the exact order that you need it and then you save that, close all those files, open the game and then basically you should have full menu navigation mapped. Uh, now this is, uh, if you don't, if some of the controls are a little bit messed up it's because the mapping wasn't set 100% uh, in the MUL configurator so what you can do is just redo your configuration so that basically the main important ones that are used in the uh, the menu navigation is the Xbox view menu obviously a B X Y and previous gear and next gear so basically Xbox view is the back button Xbox menu is your start button a B X Y is obviously what they are and then your previous gear and next gear should be your R B L B or paddle shifters basically um, as long as you have those buttons mapped uh, that way on your wheel in the configurator then the menu navigation will just work uh, like it's wood standard. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.